Hi everyone, I'm Joanna Matteo from Pyramid Educational Consultants. Hope you're all doing well. I have a fun little activity for us to do today. We're gonna to make puffy sidewalk chalk. As the weather's getting nicer and we can be outside, it might be fun to go outside and write a few messages to your friends and passers-by. So here are the um, items that we're going to need. We're going to need a large mixing bowl. We're going to need measuring spoons, measuring cups, a whisk, nice cool little kitchen instrument. We're gonna need a funnel. And if you don't have a funnel, I have fun ways to show you how to make a funnel. You can take a water bottle, just cut off the top, turn it around, and there's your funnel. The other thing you can do to make a funnel is just take a Ziploc bag, pour your ingredients inside, and just cut off a little corner, and you can make a funnel as well. We're going to need a squeeze bottle. I didn't have any squeeze bottles in the house, so I went to my recycling bin and took a condiment bottle. So you can probably do the same if you don't have any at home. We're gonna need some flour, some water, some food coloring. I have four different colors here, and some dishwashing soap. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is measure out one cup of water. So it'll kind of be nice for you guys to figure out which one of these four cups is one cup. It will be the big one. So we're just gonna measure out one cup of flour. It's kind of nice to do this in the kitchen over the sink in case you spill anything. It makes for easier cleanup. So I'm gonna put my flour, oh perfect. That's just about one cup. I'm gonna put that into the bowl. Then the next thing we need is one cup of water. So we'll measure out one cup of cold water. Nice job, we'll pour that in. Now, being at the kitchen, this is gonna be really helpful. We need some dish soap. So what I'm going to do is figure out what one tablespoon is. So we need one tablespoon. So here are our measuring spoons, and this big one, again, is one tablespoon, so I'm just gonna pump out one tablespoon of dish soap. This makes it, this helps to um, clean up when we clean up the soap, the dishwashing soap inside, oh, excuse me, when we clean up the chalk, the dishwashing soap inside is gonna be really helpful for that. Um, now you get to pick your color. You make one squeeze bottle per color. So I have green, yellow, blue, and red food coloring. I'm gonna use green. And this you're just gonna measure by eye. So you're just gonna pour in some of the food coloring. This one has to, happens to be gel. And then you're gonna take your whisk and you're gonna start blending all the ingredients. Oh, this is a really nice color. Can you guys see that? I'm just gonna stir. You wanna get all the lumps out because you want the mixture to be nice and smooth with no clumps. So just whisk, whisk, whisk. You can count while you're whisking. You can sing your favorite song. You can all take turns. It's kind of just a fun activity to do together while you're inside and then we can just take it outside. So I'm whisking, whisking. I'm going to go one way and then the other. You're going to circle and there you go. It's all blended. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my funnel and my squeeze bottle. And I'm gonna pour the mixture into the bottle. So again, I'm gonna do this over the sink so I get everything to go right in. Look at that great color, isn't that pretty? There's my green sidewalk chalk. So I'm gonna put the cover on and I'm gonna meet you in just a few minutes outside and we're gonna try it out. Hi guys, we're outside. The mixture looks a little watery, so we're gonna try it out. If you might, you might need to add a little extra flour to it, but I'm just gonna make a smiling face for you. So here we go. I'll put some crazy hair on it. So, and there you have it, and it's drying, and it should be puffy when it's fully dry. But if you need a little extra flour, go ahead and add it. Have fun, guys. I'm going to put the lesson plan, all of the pictures that go with this lesson, 
on our website at www.pex.com backslash support at home. So have fun and stay safe.